My oh my. Don't you guys love waking up in the morning and just seeing the market in absolute turmoil? I know, I, 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 don't, I don't get it either. But, you know, from, from the four hour chart, I mean, to be honest, that doesn't look like turmoil to me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that, that, that's why, you know, I, I oftentimes just, I, I, I truly scratch my head at some of these clickbait news articles. I mean, it, it's just, I don't know. I mean, do, do you guys get what I'm saying here? I mean, look at this. Uh, people are saying that we're in a sell-off. What, we're, what, we're, we're in a sell-off because of, of what, this right here? Oh, come on, that, that's nothing. That's nothing. That this is this is child's play. I mean, it, 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 is this this right here? This these are these are people scared. Okay, Th this is this right here is a is a combination of people being scared and and people with uh, leveraged positions. Because you know what, what happens with people with, with leveraged positions that get liquidated. Uh, what, what ends up happening is that stuff just cascades. I mean, those are very large positions um, that 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 get. Uh, that they get liquidated and it just you know, those are immediate sells especially if it's a long um, and it just gets washed out all the way so um, I mean going, I mean going back I mean I'm, I'm gonna turn this off again I mean, do, do we honestly look I mean do, do we honestly look like like we are in in a sell-off do we do we do we look like we're in a downtrend no I I, I, I have yet to believe that however i will say uh let me turn this back on i will say this this right here um you know we're looking at bitcoin here uh I, I will say this right here if we do break you know this point right here i would say then yes i, I would be changing my mind and saying that you know uh you know we, we would probably be in trouble uh in that case so uh, there, there, there's some, there, there's quite a bit that can kind of go into the sell-off, which I'm going to get to in a moment. Um, but, uh, you know, if this is your first time here, my name is Tom Gercheck, the founder of the consultant.trade, uh, where we help traders maintain consistency to create profitable futures. If that's something that you, if that's something that you're, uh, you know, interested in learning more about, head on over to the consultant.trade, um, you know, the, the, I, I will say that, that the website is still kind of undergoing, uh, you know, some some maintenance, so it doesn't doesn't look the greatest. Um, but you know, the overall looks and aesthetics is not really what I'm going for. But uh, you know, the, the information that is there, there's going to be a ton more information coming. I've got uh, some great stuff coming for you guys. I mean, you should head on over to the website, sign up for free, sign up for free. Um, so you at least get my newsletters so you can get the updates for uh, for new stuff that's going to be added. I've got uh, a premium feature that's going to be launched hopefully this month. So that's why I'm encouraging you guys to head on over to the consultant.trade, sign up for free. Um, so at least you get the newsletter. So I will be touching more on that next week. OK. All right. So let, let's get back into uh, you know, kind of this analysis here of what everyone thinks is absolutely, um, you know, just madness. Okay. <laughs> it's just, uh, it, it's, it's, it's both entertaining, but yet aggravating to, you know, read and, and see some of the, some of the articles, some of the, some of the tweets and, and reddits, just people just like, Oh my goodness, it, it, we're out, we're in another sell off. I'm like, have you have you looked at the overall picture? Actually, let's look at the daily. So the daily the daily does look like it does paint a smaller a, a, a different picture somewhat. But then again, does it really? I mean, does does it really? Damn it! I, why can't I just draw with all this other shit turned off? Uh, but you guys get my point. Look, this right here. I mean, look look at this. Are, are, are we are we in the red okay so let, let me let me let me let me paint this picture for you so th this line here this, this is a 200 moving average <clears throat> okay um, and it, what's filled in red here is just uh, it's kind of like the like a mountain um, like a mountain graph okay it's just kind of fills in it, it kind of paints a better picture of you know the, the current trend however look look at look at the consolidation that we've been doing look look we've I mean, we, we were here, you know, almost, what, what is that, eight months ago? 
eight, seven, eight, eight months ago, last June, middle of June, we were, we were, we were first, we first entered this area last June. All right. And we're back here. All right. So this is a huge, huge phase of, of consolidate, of consolidation. Now take this into consideration. All of what, what's all occurred during this time. Okay. We, we've had, we've had FTX, um, you know, we, we've had, you know, movement on, you know, the potential CBDC. We've had more COVID, you know, BS. Oops. I, I'm sorry. I can't say that. Um, can't say that word. Uh, you know, we, we, we've had all, all different kinds of stuff happen within the last, you know, six to 10 months, uh, you know, that, that, that we've been in this, you know, actually almost a year, right? Almost a year. Where, where, where we've where we've been in this 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 weird downtrend okay but if you if you look back through last year I mean you could say that this is a pretty damn good consolidation zone okay we, we are building tremendous support here now given yes we would be in a world of hurt if if we did break back through the 15,000 yes there are people that are saying you know 12,000 is the key level or even 10,000 is the key level um, that, that we should be looking at. You know, honestly, even if we were to get, even if we were to get here to down to these levels, honestly, I don't think we would be there very long. I think there people would actually see, oh my goodness, Bitcoin is at, you know, Bitcoin's at, at $10,000, guys. You should be buying, like, you should be buying the shit out of it. I mean, if Bitcoin's ten thousand dollars, what do you think, uh, you know, Ethereum is going to be, six hundred, seven hundred, consistently? Yeah, I, I, I would, I would be breaking out the credit card for Ethereum at that point, again. Um, so, you know, sometimes, you know, you you, you kind of have to look through. You know, you, you gotta you gotta look through the weeds sometimes in terms of. You know what's really going on in the market um, I mean if we if we go to the four hour chart you know we, we see some some peak of green here peaking above the uh, the 200 moving average again here and again here and then we've got this really big you know turn of the year green spot where we've spent a lot of time above the 200 Okay, this right here, I think this is extremely bullish. I mean, look at this. We, we broke above this high. We broke above this high. And it looks like we capped out at, yeah, about the 25,000, which brings us back here. I mean, that is the first time we have been above the 200 since, you know, uh, what is that, beginning? Almost a year ago. Almost a year ago. Consistently above the green. So... Do I think this is extremely bullish? Yes, I do. Um, so I, I, I think there's, let, let me get to kind of what I was saying with, uh, you know, why, you know, this, why this area right here is so important. So if you, let's see if the, let's see, is the article still here? Uh, let's see, where is it at? Let's see if I can find it. <clears throat> There is, there was an article yesterday where the government uh, was sending something like over a billion dollars in Bitcoin. Uh, what is it, seven hours ago? No, I don't think it was that long ago. Where is it? Uh, is it this? Uh, 40,000 Bitcoin from US government seizure in motion. Yeah, okay. So, so I think they sent um, all of this to Coinbase. Um, I, I encourage you guys to to go and, and, and check this out. You guys, you already know where this where this is at, uh, or Zai Crypto. I don't know where that's at, but it's on. Okay, they've got they've got their own website, ZaiCrypto.com. Go over there, check this out. Uh, this was published. What is it? No, I, I I read this I read this last night. There, there's another article that I read, but anyway, it should be the same premise. Um, they the government. So this this is everything that was um, seized by. Uh, one of the crypto people from uh, one of one of the big scams back in uh, like 2014 to like 2022, they got him to roll on a. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it was a Silk Road, 20, you know, 2014, 2015, and they got him to com to uh, confess to one of the at least one count 
uh, and it was all of the crypto. So anyway, what, what, I think what they end up doing is they end up moving it and then they end up auctioning it off, I think is what is basically what I'm saying. So some people are afraid that uh, that they are just going to completely sell off, uh, you know, one bill, you know, 40,000 Bitcoin, which, um, to be honest, I don't know what 40,000 Bitcoin would actually do here, but I'm pretty sure it would. I mean, I'm pretty sure we would be seeing this level real. Mm, that looks pretty. That looks interesting. Let's get rid of that. Um, I, I, it looks. It looks really interesting. Um, you know, around the, around this area. Um, if not, I think yeah, it would be possible if they did sell that. You would. Pr it would. It would be a massive. Cas you know, cascading effect. Again, like I was saying with liquidations. Um, so, I, I, I think the only way we're going to get down there is due to something like that. Um, you know, I, I've never seen, an, I've heard of the auctions before for Bitcoin that, that, uh, that it's been seized in the past, um, where they have done, uh, you know, where they have done, uh, you know, uh, auctions. However, th those auctions don't necessarily, they, they don't do anything to the market in terms of, uh, you know, moving, you know, moving the market, right? Um, a lot, a lot of those auctions are going to be peer to peer rather than, uh, you know, Hey, we're just going it, to, it, it's basically going to be the transfer of Bitcoin from one person to another. Okay. Unless for whatever reason they decide to liquidate it themselves, then, you know, yeah, who, who knows? Um, but I, I think that might be, uh, one piece of fear that, that people would be, uh, will be looking at. So if you don't know about that, now, you know, um, I, I was a little taken off by that as well. Um, you know, me, you know, for, for myself, I've been shorting, uh, probably for the last two weeks to hedge against my positions. I finally gave up, uh, my ADA position, uh, over the weekend. I just, I, I, it really hurt to get rid of my, my ET, my, uh, ADA position. I had quite a bit in that, uh, but you know, I, I would take a, so not, 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 not a substantial loss on it uh, because it was a futures long, but I was just getting between the the, the pullbacks and I, I was just getting eaten up by the uh, by the positive fund rates uh, fund rates for for some reason it was just man they, they were just eating me alive. So yeah, I, I I gained a, a rather large position um, on on ADA. So yes, I, I was just getting eaten alive with with fund rate uh, prices. So. Um, other than that, that, uh, yeah, this, this is kind of my thing for, for Bitcoin at, at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't, you know, I, I, Ethereum is going to show pretty much the same thing. Um, but yeah, let, let's, let's take a look at, uh, Ethereum here again. It's going to be this pretty much the same, what, what you're looking at. Um, again, the four hour is, is very bullish in this terms of, of you know, what it looks like. Um, you know, we, I think we've got a little bit more bullish sediment in terms of, you know, price being above the 200. Um, you know, that, that, that's not to say that, you know, Ethereum can't overtake uh, Bitcoin at some point or, you know, potentially, uh, you know, have some type of uh, decoupling of who leads who. Uh, but Ethereum has, has looked uh, a lot better in terms of, uh, you know, rel relative to the, the 200 moving average uh, in terms of Bitcoin. So uh, let's look at the daily. Daily is going to look about the same. So, yeah, I mean, we've got a pretty good. I mean, look at this. Well, this goes back to 2020. But this is the daily. <clears throat> so, I mean, it just. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've not had uh you know we've not been above the above the 200 since you know may of last year you know and consistently you know april so yeah uh we're, we're coming up on a year of of uh below the 200 uh you know do i think we i i think given where we are right now you know g given where we are right now on the daily i think we do have the potential again that 1800 mark is uh is absolutely key uh for for us uh, we, we've got we've got to be able to reach above i mean we are closest we've been to 
the closest we've been to breaking the 200 was on Thursday, February Thursday, now February 16th, which was uh, 1744 was the high of the day. So, uh, dun, 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 dun. let's go to yeah. See if, again for uh, the the four hour, with the exception of the past day or two. Well, actually, the past day. Uh, yeah, we, we've been above. Uh, we are retesting, I think, this entire zone here. Uh, the, the lower part of the, of the consolidation from, you know, the height of our rally uh, that began in January. So, uh, you know, I, I, I think ultimately there are trader bulls that are desperately, desperately fighting to keep uh, you know, to keep the momentum to the upside. Um, I mean, I, I think, honestly, I think you can tell with, you know, everything that's going on this year and through last year, um, you know, I, I think traders are, are really wanting to, to help try and, and push momentum, keep momentum to the upside. I think everyone's just really determined to have a good year, uh, despite what's, uh, what's going on in the U.S., what's going on in Ukraine, Russia, Europe. Um, it, it's overall... I mean, I think we can all admit that it's just a, it's a big freaking mess. So, uh, let's see, what are my projections for, um, Ethereum at the moment? Um, yeah, sorry, I've got, let me get rid of that. Make this look a little bit more clear. Uh, this, that's from a previous video. Uh, what is this, uh, Fib projection? What's that from? Uh, let's see, it's from here. I wonder if that's from a different time frame, but... Okay, so it's at least up up to our higher high. Let's let's go ahead and adjust this. All right. <clears throat> so our previous lower low to our higher our highest high yet. Um, Fibonacci shows us a few supports. Uh, so a little bit off on uh, this one, the one that we recently broke on last Thursday, uh, last week. Uh, so we, we really kind of tested this one and finally it, it broke. Um, I mean, you just got long wicks on both sides. So, um, but we do have one really, I mean, you can, you can start to see here. This is one thing that I look at is are, are, are these lower, you know, where are the wicks? You know, where, where are the wicks? The wicks will ultimately tell us, you know, who's winning, who's winning that, that tug of war, right? I mean, if, if you if you look here, go go back here and look at you know the middle of February. You have long lower wicks here, right? You have, you have the wicks are are longer to the downside than they are the upside, which is bullish. Okay, that that's imagine being a, a bull being pulled down, 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 and then all of a sudden you know you start gaining traction and you pull up, and you, you're left with this this lower wick. That means that that the bears are losing that, that direction. So, um, I, I, I tend to look at, at more, uh, you know, where, where are the, where are the wicks, where are the wicks, right? And here in, in this consolidation, if you look at the wicks, I mean, they're, they're pretty, they're on both sides. They are on both sides. This is a four hour chart and I mean, they're on, they're on both sides. So, uh, you know, I, I, I would, you know, for, for like the past week, I would probably say since about this area here, um, I, I've, I've been shorting. I, I've been shorting Ethereum uh, on and off uh, to get uh, to kind of kind of hedge against my positions. Um, so it, it's been working out pretty well. Uh, I mean, if you can't tell, I mean, we're, we're kind of in this uh, you know regression back to the 200, and we've certainly met that. And you know, at the moment, yep, we're we're below the 200. So, but again, I'm I'm a little. I'm a, I'm a little skeptical to continue uh, shorting. If I am going to short, it's going to be on definitely a lower time frame uh, to get in and out, uh, mainly because of these lower wicks. Uh, I mean, we are showing, uh, you know, the, the 786 to be a pretty uh, decent, uh, you know, line of support. You know, in this area. I mean, you can again, you can tell, you can look back with all these these lower wicks. Um, so yeah, if you're shorting, I would probably, you know, I, I would probably be, uh, you know, 
little little light on on that but that's just my opinion it's just how i trade so uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm shorting but I'm, I'm not i'm not holding overnight by all means so uh anyway this uh overall you know I, i'm still very bullish on on crypto uh for this year i think that uh i think we've got a tremendous uh tremendous year ahead of us um, you know, I, I think probably the biggest thing of the year is the chat GTP thing, the open AI, um, you know, that, that is backed by, you know, Elon Musk and Microsoft. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, that is probably going to be the, the biggest thing for the year, um, you know, that this year is going to be um, just absolutely amazing. It's just going to be a wealth of knowledge, uh, you know, a, a, just, a, just a knowledge burst, okay? Uh, you know, to me, I, I've worked in IT for, you know, almost 16 years uh, at, at this point. Um, and it, it, it's just been a, a tremendous resource. I mean, it's I, I, I can ask this thing so many, so many great questions um, that would that would that would take me probably an hour to find on Google to, to just rummage through and, and 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 try and find. So either way. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I got off on a tangent there, but uh, you know, I think crypto, AI. Uh, I mean, I, I think these are these are tremendously bullish years. Um, I think uh, the whole AI side is just going to give uh, a tremendous amount of knowledge at the fingertips of the crypto community. Um, so, with that, uh, you know, I. I've, I've covered the, the two things that, that I that I needed to, which was uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, kind of kind of giving that that analysis of you know kind of where I think we're heading and uh, kind of kind of the breakdown for you know, what, what's happening and where why we are where we are. So um, other than that, guys, if you're uh, if you're interested in any of the tools, uh, check the links down below. Uh, there's some discounts and and whatnot. You guys know how that stuff works. There's affiliate links uh, if you. Uh, you know, if you want to directly support the channel, by all means, feel free to use those. Uh, you don't have to. Um, you know, I've, I've never asked you guys to, to you know, hit that sub, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. But if that's your thing, if you really want to, go ahead. Um, you know, I, I, I like doing these videos because I, I like doing them. Um, you know, it keeps me engaged with the community, with you guys, and it, it kind of helps uh, hold myself accountable. And uh, you know, I want to, I want to do my part in in the trading community to help bring forth uh you know in, insightful information uh that can help better your trading all right so um again go to uh you know uh, uh, the consultant.trade check it out uh you know sign up for the free uh newsletter um i haven't posted anything in a little bit because i've been i've been hard at work with uh you know the, the the program that i'm developing for you guys um so it, it's going to be absolutely amazing i plan on bringing you guys some information on that next week um since it'll be pretty much the, the middle of uh, middle of march and i told you guys it was going to be ready for march so i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a preview talk about that a little bit more uh so be prepared for that uh it'll probably be out sometime uh, next week tuesday or thursday so um i, I would suggest you guys go on over to the consultant to trade sign up to free newsletter and make sure you get the uh, the updates that you need other than that guys i will see you in the next one stay safe stay healthy stay decentralized later